Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and we are up today with a Chaos Craft Design Team haul. So there's quite a few items here so I'm just going to go straight in. Um, first up we have a gorgeous and it is big, I'm just moving my goo gone out of the way there, Halloween bucket. It's got a pumpkin face, it's got um, candy, boo and I think that says scary. So this can either be an easel card, it can be a shaker and it can also be a mini album. So you're going to be able to do three things with this. Uh, I haven't quite figured out what that bit is. I think it might be the rim that goes along there and I'm having a good look at it because I don't like things that I can just use, you know, one time and uh, I'm thinking I'm going to come up tomorrow and we're going to turn that into a Christmas candy bucket so rather than use the pumpkin face I'm going to try and use the word candy and we'll just do something totally different <laughs> so I've seen so many of these done as the pumpkin bucket that I want to be able to do something else with it so come up tomorrow and we'll do that one and I think we're going to do that as Christmas right I have a set of words and you know what I'm like for reading stuff backwards so I don't really want to try but I can see leaves hello fall and we'll cut the others out and find out next up we have this gorgeous little Christmas swaggy banner set You've got the uh, peppermint candy hearts, which is really sweet for placing in there. You've also got another layer that you can add so that you can change colour of the hearts. So you can cut the whole thing out, for example, in craft card stock, then cut some red card stock and do your hearts, then cut some white card stock and have your candy hearts between your gingerbread. You've got a wonderful little tree and then you've got some small gingerbread. So I think I'm going to try and use those tomorrow as well. I'm wondering if they make a good swag to go on my bucket. And I think they will. So I'm popping those down there. Ooh, next up, more Christmassy items. And we have holly and berries. So we can layer these up. Or we can just have them in single clumps onto a card. It's entirely up to you. So those are really pretty. And then we have something that everybody loves, poinsettia. Aren't they sweet? Of course, those two are going to go fabulous together to make a, a nice Christmas bouquet. Next up, we have a tear strip envelope maker. Now, I do know that KS Craft has done a tutorial on her channel for how to do this. And I'm wondering if... I need to um, actually make the envelope myself or I can use any of my other envelopes and I can do that but you can see that there's a, an embossed arrow on that section so that when you've done it people know that they've got to tear it open so that's a really sweet set really like that and then we have a scooter set which is really cute so we've got a layering up piece or is that a larger and a smaller scooter i think it's a larger and a smaller scooter and then we've got loads of balloons now i think that layers onto there that's me getting all confused isn't it so we're gonna have to make that one that's really cute i mean you could put anything sitting on there if you've got any little uh, santa characters or anything like that you know you can quite literally be dashing through the snow <laughs> 60 miles an hour bless him right next up we have a gingerbread bow and that is really cute comes with all your little frosting pieces there's two different sizes in here you've got the little character face just really sweet so that's going to look really cute do you know if if you um glue felt down onto cardstock use a glue stick i wouldn't use anything else because it can you know kind of ooze through the fabric but if you use a glue stick and you put your felt down it cuts through really nice and easy and you can make a really pretty bow to put on um, a bobby pin or something for a little girl's hair for christmas it would look really sweet and we have 
more words and we have hot hot chocolate yeah well there you go marshmallows I'm pretty sure that says marshmallows am I gonna have a guess no I'm not we're gonna have to cut them yeah and then next up we've got a lovely autumn one we've got an acorn which is a shaker that's really lovely love that um, ziggy zaggy detail and a really pretty detailed flower that's going to look really nice cutting foam around and just stretched out really pretty love that awesome colors you could do those flowers couldn't you and just have them going around your acorn so they can be used independently all together so i really love that and then we have a real cutie you know me and tags so we have a pumpkin tag and we've got four and we've got hello so that's a great one for putting on some thanksgiving gifts look nice on a foodie jar as well especially if you've made some pumpkin or apple butter or something to give to someone so that's really lovely and then we have i've got to open this one a set of confetti dies let's get my hands into there whoops and let's see what we've got oh right we've got squirrels we've got little pumpkins really useful because you can't always find full type things oh garden wellies or wellingtons love those and little tiny mushrooms and that's sweet love that great to be uh, used on gloss card stock because they can also look like sequins when you do that now this one i believe looking at its little body is a little christmas layering up penguin so we're going to have to do that one that's really sweet and then we have a little strip of deers we've got all the little sleighs different sizes got a snowflake and if i shake that down and hold on to that i'm just shaking we've got little christmas boots layering pieces we've got the gingerbread and we've got tiny little bows and we've got all the swirls for the candy and we've also got little mini poinsettia let's have a look there we go so we've got swirly candy you've got pep regular peppermint candy and then you've got tiny little poinsettia those are lovely always nice to have little icons to pop onto tags and stuff and then we've got something really pretty and that is a lacy christmas tree you can see that there and you can pop a book ring through there so that you can turn that into a little christmas book isn't that cute then all, you, all your layers of lace are going to go on each of the tiers. I'm going to have to make that one. That's really nice. And then we have a huge, huge gingerbread. Isn't that gorgeous? And it comes with a little cookie tray. So the gingerbread can be hanging on to all sorts of stuff. And there's a little whisk. So we will be making everything that I've put on this table... And then we've got a train set now i have seen ks craft um, show this one so you've got the um the train you've got the carriage you've got all the little characters that can go in there you can make it 3d or you can just pop it on a card and once again lovely swirly candy just what we need so fabulousness and i will be up until they are complete which is going to obviously take me a few days and i do have the weekend off so it's going to be all through the end to this week and through next week as well i thank you so much for joining me today have a wonderful day and as usual all links below bye